Hey guys! Welcome to another episode of Unboxing with Delta. Or Nick, as I'm referred to now by myself today. Uh, originally it was planned to have two games being unboxed this morning. Or today. It's morning for me, it might be later for you. Depends on when you watch this. Uh, mainly because... Uh, got the new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, but... Um, yeah, I kind of already opened it, because I wanted to play it. I needed something to play last night, because I couldn't open this other game. So, uh, no need to open it up and all that stuff. Let's just look at the front. I can't name all these Pokemon, by the way. I really can't. Uh, so, just look at the front, all that fun stuff. I'm covering someone's face there. There we go. Pretty cool looking cover. You got Pikachu with all her scar. Pikachu, Axew... Oshwat, Snivy, Taypig, Emolga, and I can't name the rest. Uh, on the back, the fate of the Pokemon world is in your hands. Now, it's just a bunch of random pictures there. You're not going to be able to see them uh, because it's way too small. Uh, endless dungeons and infinite possibilities. Well, duh. Inside every round object, discover a Magnegate. Which is basically, you find a circle of some sort, put your 3DS up to it, near it, to look at it. It'll open it up a mystery dungeon. It's kind of cool, but I don't know if all of them are the same or not. So, we'll go about that way. You're the hero, and you're a Pokemon. Battle through ever-changing dungeons with Pokemon friends. Yeah. Uh... I started with I started as Axew, my partner's Pikachu. Name him Sparks. Uh, as far as booklets and crap like that goes, yeah, game's not in there. Like I said, I was playing it last night. I couldn't help it. Here's basically the book. Back up a little bit there. That's it. It uh, tells you how to play. It's really, really short and connection and all that, all that fun stuff. Uh, everything else is basically Nintendo Club. They try and get you to sign in for that. And uh, advertisements for other games. Uh, Pokemon 3D, or Pokedex 3D Pro, which it costs like three or four bucks, I believe. I don't know. Uh, po uh, Dream Radar. Which, catch Pokemon with hidden abilities, bring them to your... Po really? Huh. That's a, that's pretty cool, but it probably costs money too. Uh, Pokemon Rumble Blast, which apparently is the next game in the series. I don't know. Other than that, yep. Uh, yeah, I can go ahead and show you the disc while I'm at it. Sorry if I seem... Sniffly a little bit. My allergies are acting up for once. This is basically the little packet there. And I just dropped it. One thing about the DS games, I, I swear they're getting smaller. But, alright. Uh, let's put everything away. Do all that stuff. If I can freaking pick them up. Okay, there we go. Come on. Like I said, I was playing that last night because I had nothing else to do. I was sit, sitting there watching TV with my mother, and I'm like, right, you know what? I'm just going to open it. All right. The main event here. Dropped it. Bioshock Infinite. Now, originally, I was going to pass on this and wait for reviews and all that stuff. So, uh, I waited for a couple hours after it came out. Uh, then I'm like, okay, I'm going to get it. I saw reviews from um, Rev4 Games, or Rev... Yeah, Adam Sessler, one of my favorite reviewers, uh, when I, I watched him on Extended Play before it went on G4, which, yeah, then it became X-Play and they added Morgan. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's gotten perfect scores all over the place, it's gotten high scores, you know, nothing negative about it, so I'm like, I'm just going to pick it up. So, let's get to getting here. 
I hope y'all are enjoying the Pokemon Mr. Dungeon episodes. You know, I state that every week. It's like, oh, I hope you like it, oh, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah. I enjoy it when people watch my videos, at least some kind of feedback. You know, not negative, of course. No one wants to play play a game and get nothing but negative feedback from these games. Uh, as far as I know, I'm getting close to beating the game. Uh, I looked up certain things. Alright. Front of it's your main character. Let me look at Booker DeWitt. It's your main character holding a shotgun. It looks like a shotgun. Uh, rated M for Mature, of course. Okay. What are over... 80 awards. Wow. From E3, X Play Best of E3 11. Really? Two years ago? Uh, Game Critics Award winner. Game Trailers Best of E3. This game has been at E3 since like 2000. As they said 2011. I think it's probably early, even earlier than that. Bring Us the Girl. Wipe Away the Debt. The year is 1912. Deep in debt, Booker DeWitt has only one opportunity for a clean slate. Rescue Elizabeth, a mysterious girl in prison since childhood. Huh. In the flying city of Columbia. Yeah, I'll pause there for a second. Forced to trust one another, they must harness and expand arsenal of weapons and abilities as they fight to survive the threats of the city and uncover dark secrets. There's absolutely no reading after that except for... Uh, there's one player, no online play, uh, 6 megabytes for save game, and 720p and up for resolution, and of course, game content download, but... Blood, gore, intense violence, language, mild sexual themes, and use of alcohol and tobacco. The back of the whole thing looks pretty cool, you got the girl up there in the top, uh, and the rest is just basically, uh, one of them shows him having a weapon using that another is i think george washington i don't know don't quote me on that okay on the inside all right what is this it's just crap oh my god there's actually a booklet and it looks pretty cool too huh and it has like a storybook thing on the back now it's a slight it's a slight little booklet showing you everything Game controls. Then you got uh, lock picking and powers and all that stuff. Basically, a, a little overview there. Uh, show you this before I do that. It looks like you have an interchangeable background to the back of it. Maybe. It might be a poster of some sort. Then you got the disc. Uh, for once. The disc does not look like the game box itself, so that's a good thing. I've always hated that. Uh, people who, these uh, game companies that basically, you know, make these games and do all that stuff, and when they make go for the disc, it's like, no, let's just make it the same. No one really cares. Some people do. I mean, it's not going to affect the way I play the game, of course. That's, that's kind of ridiculous. But, you know, show a little creat creative view here, people. But yeah, uh, that's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Against Infinity and Bioshock Infinite. Um, I, I, I haven't done game reviews in a while. I really don't plan on it. I might comment about the games in my Let's Plays. That's basically the only way y'all hear about that. So uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, the only other thing that was in there was, you know, it's not the actual season pass. Really? Day one bonuses? Who does that? God. It's, you you bring out these brand new games. It's like, oh, there's day one DLC. Add it to the game. Seriously. But That's for a different topic later. I might do rants. But I hope you all enjoyed this. I'll see you all next time.